guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, thanks for stopping by. I'm Julie Rose, and today I'm talking about shoes! But before I get started, I just want to say a big thank you. I'm not gonna turn this into a whole Oscar speech. I just wanna thank my subscribers and my viewers and my shopping addiction. But I just want to say thank you so much because I reached a thousand subscribers this weekend, and it's all down to you guys. Thank you for your comments, your shares, everything it's amazing it's so encouraging i'm loving the conversations we're having let's keep it going i am loving this all right back to shoes and thank you to the lovely lady who suggested doing a shoes video i hadn't even thought about it i don't know why i'm obsessed with shoes i always have been i'd say now i choose more sensible shoes than maybe i did in my younger years but i'm still obsessed I still love them and I wanted to find out what is hot this spring and summer and what better place to go shopping for shoes than Selfridges. I'm going to take you to the shoe galleries and check out what is here for this spring. shoe galleries if you haven't been it's absolutely wonderful Selfridges have dedicated this huge space to tons of different brands from the cheaper side to the most expensive side and everything in between they have all the hottest trends so I went shopping to have a little look and see what's gonna be hot this spring and summer and without a doubt it is the mule. No, not that mule, this mule. The party in the front, empty in the back shoe. The might fall off your feet, I don't know. I love a mule. I think they're super practical. They're really easy, you just slip them on as you're running out the door. They are actually really great for a shopping trip because you don't wanna be tying up your shoes and unzipping shoes when you're taking off all your clothes or even if you're going shoe shopping. You want to be doing them up and down, up and down, up and down. Slip them off, slip them on. I like it. But they're not always the most comfortable. So I tried on lots. I'm going to show you my favorite styles. Then I'll show you a couple of different designers and price points and show you some different options. Anyways, lots to get through. Let's get started. First up, we have the Bottega Veneta square toed heeled shoe. This style is everywhere. I like how they're quite padded and they definitely have more structure around the toe which for me is a must otherwise my ankles start flipping all over the place and I fall over and oh it's a nightmare if like me you struggle to maybe walk in a heeled mule then make sure that the strap across the front is nice and wide to really hold your foot in it makes it a lot easier but the Bottega Veneta ones are really expensive there are lots of people making these also I just want to point out one of my rules that I tend to shop for shoes by is I tend to buy shoes from companies who focus on shoes because I find that the shoes are better. Yes, I love Zara. Yes, I love H&M. But because their focus isn't shoes, I find that they're not as comfortable. They don't put the effort into them. So anyways, a company like Dune, it's a similar style to the Bottega ones. And these are really comfy, really sleek, really easy to wear. Very, they're plain, but they will go with everything. They've got a good, decent heel height on them. They're not crazy high. And they came in a black and a tan. Also, Carvella did one similar, and that strap was even wider to make it even more comfortable. And the heel was a different shape. So it's a different shoe, same idea. But I would definitely make sure I can walk in them and that they're comfortable because otherwise, what's the point? And then we move into the kind, the same kind of style, but with a thong. I tried these ones on and they were super duper comfy. And that just kind of gave that extra security, that extra 
thing to grip onto with your toes, which sounds weird, but it's true. I love LK Bennett shoes. Yes, they've kind of gone into fashion, but I say LK Bennett are known for their shoes. I really loved these. The color would go with everything. You know I love that bony color, which are very similar to a lot of these strappy flip floppy mules I'm seeing. I guess they would kind of be considered a sandal, but that same idea, mule, sandal, flip flop, hybrid, super comfy, super wearable, but still very stylish for 2020. And then I stumbled across the Jimmy Choo Bings, which I'm sure you've seen out and about. They are gorgeous. They come in two different heights and paint and leather, and they're starting to come out in suede, and I think they do a black leather, but the bejeweled cross across the foot is so elegant and so lovely. I'm obsessed with these shoes. I'm eyeing them. I'm looking for sales all the time. I love how you can dress them down with jeans and a white top or whatever. So, so cute. Manolo Blahnik are actually doing some very similar and they are stunning as well, but both Jimmy Choo Manolo Blahnik, very expensive shoes. If you want to invest, I do think spending more money on some lovely shoes is great, but you can't do that every time. So what other brands are doing similar styles? I will tell you, Kurt Geiger has some great ones and they have the different heights, the different colors. I did find, however, that the flat ones were so flat that they looked a bit like Cruella de Vil shoes. I like to have just, even if it's tiny, a little bit of elevation in the back, if it's too flat, it just, yeah, it just, you just need a little, just a little something, a little something, something. And one really funky heel. I don't know, that was a curveball. I don't know where that came from. I did see these heels a lot last year, especially in M&S and a couple of high street shops. I don't know how I feel about the wild heel. I don't know if it's going to be around for very long. If you're going to be spending a lot of money on shoes, I don't know if I would go for the wild, wild heel. I might. I've done crazier things in my life. And speaking of flat mules, I then stumbled into Gucci to try on the gorgeous Prince Towns. Now, I, it's taken me a little while to come around to the Prince Towns. I think because they're quite, dare I say, mumsy, and I still struggle with that kind of vibe. They are buttery soft so comfy and so practical and they look really smart i think they'd look great with some jeans again a white top blazer you really just smartens an outfit while wearing flats which i think is a really hard look to accomplish so i tried on these mules and i love them so much and i would actually seen the embroidered ones on instagram the one with the bees and the stars i showed them to my husband he he didn't understand why on earth i would like these shoes I love them so much, but the only trouble when I got to Gucci was that I liked the white ones and the black ones. I couldn't decide. The lady that worked there was so sweet, so helpful. I was trying on both, walking all over the store. I had everybody commenting. Uh, she got me some water. I was there for so long. I still couldn't decide. Can you help me decide, please? Because I love them. I have my heart set on them. We all know what happens when that happens. But I don't know whether to go for the white, which I think look amazing and will be amazing for spring and summer. Let's face it, I'm not going to wear them in the winter. But the black and the gold look fabulous. But am I going to wear black that much in spring and summer? Probably. I don't know. Anyways, put down in the comments what you think. White or black. Gucci. Prince Towns sliders. Husband, if you're watching, it's happening. Anyways, they come in tons of different colors. Now they are at the higher price point. So let's go drop down to the next tier, which Russell and Bromley are doing. Now these were actually in Selfridges. When I left Selfridges, I popped into Russell and Bromley. And Russell and Bromley shoes are gorgeous and they are investment pieces. You're gonna have those for a very, very long time. So I slipped on one of the shoes and it was insanely comfortable, so gorgeous, and looked exactly like the Gucci ones. They were over half the price of the Gucci ones. These are gorgeous. They come in a bunch of different colors. I think they came in black, white. There was a quilted kind of Chanel vibe one, the silver, tan. Oh my gosh, they were so gorgeous. They kind of give the vibe of, I'm here. And stylish, I don't care. 
It's fine. I don't need to wear heels when I'm shopping. I don't need to wear boots. I'm so breezy. That's my vibe. It's not. And if Russell and Bromley aren't your thing, Sam Edelman was doing some exact same copies as well. And really high quality, really comfortable, really soft. You know, I was thinking that they'd be quite plasticky and, and tough. But no, they were really gorgeous. And so they're a really good option, exact same design, lower price point, bingo. And actually, they do a really good Chanel slingback dupe. These, these are, so I wouldn't call these a mule, even though the party is in the front, less in the back. I'd call these a slingback. But for this video's purposes, let's talk about these bad boys. I love them so much. I feel instantly classy when I put these on. They're gorgeous. This spring and summer, I'm gonna wear these tons. But speaking of Sam Edelman, they do a really good dupe of them, as do Dune, as do Dune. And they're so comfy and really, really stylish. So check those out for a mule slash sling bag. Because then we get into the more elegant kind of style mule where it's just very sleek and very minimalist. I saw the brand Who, What, Wear have a shoe line now. They had some really lovely, sleek, minimalist what mules, as did Fendi. Now, God, these ones stole my heart. I had to try them on. They were gorgeous. I love that shape of just, just a shoe. Just a shoe you can just slip on. It's like a slipper. A Fendi slipper you could wear out and about. Is there anything better? There's not. And that minimalist style took me into Manolo Blahnik. Of course it did. Because I had my eyes on some shoes, some mules that I thought were just so stunning. I still do. They are absolutely gorgeous. But when I tried them on, they were so uncomfortable. The buckly bit, I mean, I have really bony feet. So the buckly bit at the top was pressing in the most uncomfortable position. Plus, because they were so short in the front, my feet were really flailing. And I was walking around the store and the guy was like, mm. I was like, these are not for me. So I'm so glad I tried them on because I'd been lusting after them, dreaming about them, thinking about them. And actually, they are not for me. Always good to try shoes on. Never be afraid to just be like, no, they don't work for me. And actually, Kurt Geiger have an amazing dupe as well. They looked gorgeous. And June have lovely ones with a back strap. So actually, those ones might be more practical and more comfortable because of the back strap. I guess they still count as a mule if you have a back strap. I don't know. I'll look it up. It is a time for sensible heels, everybody. This is great news for me. These I hardly wear because I know I'm gonna be dying by the end of the night. And I really got the sense that it is the year of the lower heel. Embrace it. I know kitten heels aren't for everybody. I don't know if I could go super low and skinny, but oh, a more sensible heel? I am here for that. There was a lot of color, a lot of sparkle, which I totally get. But when I shop for shoes, I try and be a little bit more sensible with my choices, thinking about the outfits I could put them with that are in my wardrobe and making sure everything ties together. One of my top tips, that is my absolute topest, topest, topest tips, is to dress from the bottom up. So say I'm going shoe shopping. I know that I need some easy access, comfortable shoes. So I pick my shoes first and then I build my outfit around my shoes. It's a great way to make sure that you can last all day pain free. And that's it you guys, spring and summer is the season of the mule. I mean there's other shoe designs out there obviously, but I really did get a sense that this was the look for this season and I love it. They're sensible, they're practical, and they're comfortable and incredibly stylish. Well. You don't get much better than that. Please don't forget to help me out with black or white Gucci mules. I need your help. I'll list all the shoes that I'm talking about down in the description box, but please let me know if you have any questions or comments about them and I'll get back to you ASAP. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. I'd love to have you back. And check me out on Instagram because I'm posting on there all the time. And I'll see you soon.